Hello, uh, this is Caligari Blog 6, I think, and I wanted to just introduce you to the idea of the set that we've got. Uh, Rob, the designer, uh, is talking about it, so um, here's my interview with Rob looking at the set for Dr. Caligari. Stephen, and we're because right. I know we talked about not having uh, a platform, but I was just I was just playing around with the idea yeah, of yeah, yeah. an element and possibly an element. But Charlie and I, you know, we talked about um, uh, having light elements yes. which could interact, and we, so we were kind of like I'm talking to Sean about it. We were we? thinking of something that could be flown in and out and could potentially be kind of like you know have a bit of action on it, so mm -hmm. that you get kind of like you know like all uh, over the set. Right, yeah, I show yeah, you yeah. that light effect um, we were looking at yesterday, Rob. Oh yeah. Yeah, you... Oh, hang on. Charlie's got an interactive media presentation. Right. So you see how it, it, yeah, you can kind of, it kind of makes kind of nice effects on... Get your lights on. And then if you get, I know, I know. But, and then if you get right in, it can kind of take up the whole... Oh, that's, yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah. nice. So we're talking that's about nice. building, so that's see, the like chandelier, that the so there's a light source inside that. And it's all chains and mesh and, and you weird can, stuff. You can grow it. And then, yeah, so if it's right inside and it's spinning around, it'll look really great like that. Yeah. So we're thinking of, and then potentially having that kind of like drop could potentially be dropped in quite low at, yeah. at, at times to kind of like act as a kind of like oh that's very just good. above floor. So level. then they could even that play, would, play that, with it. That would be really useful, like when we're trying to do a um, when we're doing a circus and we've got yeah. like yeah. Uh, not a circus, uh, the fairground and like we've a got carousel, a carousel kind of effect. Yeah, yeah, fantastic. So that's that kind of element, and that, see that is quite a big sculptural thing. I like it. Um, we could have a lot of fun with that. And then the other elements I've been playing with are these kind of like side elements. Mm -hmm. And I, again, I'm thinking they could, you know, from the, uh, we can make them so that they're hard, so that they take, you know, like solid protection, but they could also be framed nicely from behind mm -hmm. to echo that kind of cabinet feel. Yes. So I was wondering, because, you know, we talked about having a yeah, physical cabinet. Yeah, thing, I think that's really good, yeah. And, and that... And we could play around with the idea, possibly, of having something in front of that which flies out. Um, it's got a sense of depth yeah. as well. One yeah. idea I had that would be I'd like to play around with is if this front is uh, something that we can both front project and back project onto, is having a video projector back here that projects through this aperture, so you see video in there and there and the silhouette of him, and then when uh, we reveal it, the video projection what, onto becomes this? yeah through oh, the back. Yeah, right, okay. And then when you reveal it, the video projection also becomes a, a blinding type effect. And then with the floor, because you know we talked about pushing the floor back a tiny bit, yeah. the most out of it. I was thinking of having something. And these are my Diamante <laughs> kind of footlights. Footlights, yeah. Yeah, uh, but thinking about how. So this is your kind of like projection space. But then it'd be quite nice to have it, you know, a, a bit asymmetric, perhaps, and have yes. an element, you know, which a little echo. Yeah, whether they use it or not, you know, yeah. that kind of. No, we are. I'm already got us. We're doing a lot of movement, which is all in a line, all moving forward. It'd be quite useful if if that could. If well, we could, could just extend it. a little bit more there. Yeah, yeah. Well, we just, could... just not not all of it, but just that bit there. Yeah, I don't know how. Can you make a note of that? Yeah. Uh, well, we could all we could almost like kind of flip it. You know, flip that kind of idea so that shape is just flipped. Do you know what I mean? So that you actually had this element like kind of there. Okay. Do you know what I mean? And do you sure? Oh, what I'm mean? with you. Yeah. Or I could flip what I'm doing, but yeah. I, I, you know. Because it looks to me, it, it it seems right or like that. Yes, yes. <laughs> Asymmetric's nice, I think, for this, isn't it? Rather yeah. than just a. Uh, oh, that's right. So that comes there. That's okay. I'll just play. I'll just bring them here instead of bring them there. I bring them. I'll bring them there. That's cool. Mm. So that's kind of where we are at the moment. It's fantastic. So, so seeing these elements as like kind of being front lit, but also more interesting. You know, kind of like you can back. backlight like that. Yeah. You yeah. Can project onto them. So yeah. I've got great, and that gives us like we were talking earlier, if we can of. You were saying how in Q Lab is it? You can separate yeah, out. Yeah, so you can, yeah, I can treat all of these as individual surfaces. That's really neat. So you can say I want that image on that one and that image on that one and that image down here. I love it. Just as an idea that's just come up, Rob, that potentially could become a light boxy type element. Because I was talking about video projection onto it. Instead of mm. that, if we had different size on it, I mean. Yeah, if this was if this semi a semi translucent fabric and we had things like a moonlight box or something else light box oh, yeah, behind yeah. it. Yeah. So we can reveal it in different channels so it becomes different things. It comes down when we want it down, but when we don't want it down it's So we kind of reliant on our ability to fly in the space if we have we reconciled I don't know, I'll check with I'll check with Jackie. We've got a meeting on Tuesday. I mean there's two Yeah. That's cool. That is brilliant. Hi. <laughs> Brilliant, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Geniuses, geniuses.